Culture Buzz, Shalom. We're here in uh, Voice of Music in the Upper Galilee uh, Chamber Music Festival in the north of Israel. We're here with Guy Braunstein, a violinist until recently concertmaster of Berlin Philharmonic for the last uh, 13 years. About. And now unemployed as a <laughs> soloist and conductor uh, all over the world. Um, we've known each other since we were children and played together in all our lives. And now uh, you're here as, a, as an artist in the festival. As a slave. As a slave. I'm working you to death. Um, the question is, you know, what is it like for you to be here, play here, uh, uh, you know, as opposed to other places uh, in the world? You know, Philharmonie was your second home for the last decade. And uh, you normally play uh, centers of the music world. And here you are in the north of Israel, uh, playing for, for, you know, next to uh, the Lebanese border. Sometimes we can hear some uh, Syrian uh, uprising. Is it different? No, no, there is no difference at all. I mean, um, I have a little problem. I don't care very much about where I play or for whom. Um, the only thing that, that uh, uh, matters to me is just to make whatever repertoire we do, which means here it's more intimate, more chamber music as opposed to the soloist or symphonic concerts that I, I'm doing during the season. But uh, what, what matters to me is just whatever music we do is to do it on the highest quality. And of course, I, I do travel between chamber music festivals in Europe, sometimes in America. Uh, but there is, uh, I can, I cannot find one festival that I can artistically identify with more than than the one that we do right here. Um, even though I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just being a good boy and and, and uh, you being a good boy. I'm being a good boy. <laughs> My mother would disagree, but. Um, being a good boy, uh, doing whatever I'm told to do and, and to play whatever I'm told to play. Um, I feel this is... If I would have had to, 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 to direct things and to manage things and, and to, to really uh, pick the perfect combination of, of musicians to do it here, I would have done exactly the same and, and try to program around the same. I feel I can identify with, with the way the festival functions and works the most in other festivals around the world. There is something special about this festival with uh, you know, the audience uh, interaction that we see them all the time. Really, breakfast, lunch, dinner, rehearsals. You know, we have a, re a rehearsal at 8.30 in the morning, we have 100 people there. Does that bother you? What, 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 what? No, on the contrary, on the contrary. I mean, I'm, I'm a type, I try to, to uh, correspond with, with, with the audience I'm playing for. Uh, of course, when you stand and play a concerto on a tour in, in, uh, in front of 3,000 people, it's, it makes it almost impossible, but this is the charm of this place, that, that, uh, that um, uh, yesterday, last night, we played the concert for people, we played the most serious music, we worked ourselves almost to death on every detail, and uh, just a few hours later, uh, they all see me like uh, uh, in half a state of coma, you know, um, before breakfast, and, and this is the charm, charm of it, I mean. You know, maybe one last question is, uh, when was the first time that you came? Because this is 29 years old festival, you were here a few times, when was the first time? I came, um, uh, the first time, I think 1990 or 1991, don't catch me exactly with, the, with that detail, uh, I came to represent the Israeli Defensive Forces as a member of the Israeli Defensive Forces String Quartet. And uh, what, what, what we mean? looked a little bit different <laughs> back then, yeah, a few we, kilos less and the hair was a bit darker. Just, just, a, just a quick question, Israeli Defense Force String Quartet, what's that? <laughs> what do they do? Uh, it's a military band, pretty much, but the, the one that plays string quartets, you, you used to... Uh, yeah, I was in the army too, but, uh, yeah. but uh, some people who are watching this cannot make the connection between army, chamber music, musicians, but... Yeah, we all had our times there, and, and, uh, and um, me, like many of the young Israeli musicians, would 
get the opportunity to, to, to make music even during the service and and uh, and uh, we would partially just go on playing. Uh, yeah, I, I remember for me the, 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 the army service was this time where I learned how to connect to, to different audiences that not necessarily knew anything about music and this was the, the first chance that I got to play for this kind of audience that were not there voluntarily but that's a different subject and today you're playing Mendelssohn concerto with a camerata and uh, it's a young piece by Mendelssohn young piece the, the con double concerto for for violin piano and a and a string orchestra that he composed I think uh, at the age of 12 13 and uh, which makes it really, really unbelievable. I mean, he was one of a kind at this age or at any other age. Uh, and and uh, what one could hear, of course, bits of the best of Mendelssohn already uh, at the piece of music that he composed at that age. Of course, not the whole time through, but I, I think it's a piece, it's a, it's a real jewel. And, and, um, and it's all over the place. You see that, that when he was a kid, he was, influenced by Johann Sebastian Bach quite a lot you can hear uh, and by the Italian opera and uh, and then of course he found his own language that we know from his later works uh, and and I think you you find all of these uh, all of these uh, influences in that short piece of music I mean not so short about half an hour and really sp special special work hardly ever played and and uh, and um, we look forward to the concert tonight. Thank okay, you. thank you very much, guys. Thank you.